we don't live in a world of left or right anymore. We live in a compass, right? Which is left and right, authoritarian, libertarian. So no longer are we on the left or the right. We're now on a, for want of a better word, a 3D compass. And I'll bring up an example of this. I mean, again, I'm preaching to the choir. You guys know this. So here's the political compass, yeah? Um, so this is this is what you're looking at. These are left, these are right, these are authoritarian, these are libertarian. So on the left, you've got people, everyone from Stalin to Mandela, but very different, you know, very different sort of ways of doing things, authoritarian versus libertarian. On the right, you've got kind of Hitler down to, I guess, some of the founding fathers like Jefferson. This is an American thing. So, you know, conservative views, but some wanting more freedom, some wanting more control. You know, Trump and Reagan right up there, Bush up there as well. Ironically, Obama up there when they're looking at policy. So what I've realized, and we've, we're have we not talking about this again. I said we wouldn't to do with what happened with me and Shuri that time, that the left piled on us, is that's because they're up here, right? They're left and authoritarian because they want, they're basically saying, do it our way or else. So that's where they will be sitting. And yes, I know I'm generalizing. And if they hear this, they might not be happy with that. But that's the reality. They want to suppress speech. That puts them up here. Whereas maybe, in fact, both Chewie and I have done this test today and we'll give you our results. That's not where I sit, even though I sit on the left. Which then comes back to this conversation about when you classify yourself as on the left, it can be a very different on the left because of are you closer to authoritarian or are you closer to libertarian? Are you closer to... You know, what I say goes, I'll make the rules and you'll abide by them. Or you're closer to, you know, whatever you decide is good for you. What's good for you is okay. I've been talking for a long time, Chewie. Your thoughts? Um, yeah, I, I obviously you sent me this earlier and says, oh, have, have a go at this, Chewie. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with where I landed, actually. Let, let's at, not reveal I'm, that I'm just good, yet. I'm in good company. Why don't people? Why don't people in the in the text? And there's lots of you watching at the moment. Where do you, if you know if you know us? Where do you think Chewie and I have ended up? I mean, I've said all the way through this, and I'll just repeat it that I, we we approach the world from the political left. Where do you think we ended up though? Like, if we were any one of those characters, are we going to be the green, like libertarian left? Are we going to be the red authoritarian left? I mean, to be honest, and I'll show you Labour for example. You know, you can be on the left and still sit technically on the right when you're looking at actual policy. So there's Labour from the 2008 oh, election. In fact, there's ACT, there's National, there's United Future, New Zealand first in the middle, and there's Labour. Here's something that I found that's interesting. Yeah? 2008 Labour, they're a little bit on the right. Now, this is based on this institute's looking at their policies, right? So that's what it's based on. Mm -hmm. 2011, they're pretty much in the same space. 2014, whoop, Labour becomes a little bit more authoritarian but they're pretty much in the same place. 2017, but further to the right, but further authoritarian. Uh, 2020, much more authoritarian, much more to the right. Wow, okay. So based on their policies, um, according to politicalcompass.org, uh, Labour, <laughs> our left-wing party, when it comes to their policy and practice, is a mid-right, mid-authoritarian party. And that, I think, will be echoed by a lot of people talking about freedoms and rights taken away from Labour. This all also echoes into the, what do we think about freedom of speech? What do we think about um, hate speech laws? I think this plays into it. Chewie, it's the first time you've seen that part of it. What do you think? Yeah, I, I mean, that. I've often described myself as a, a Labour voter who votes green. And, <laughs> like... I, I, I feel like I'm aligned with Labour more, but every single election, I look at it and I go, no, I'm going to vote Green again. But I'm definitely a Labour guy. Um, and, yeah, that just that makes a bit of sense. Like, when they're, when they're going, oh, look, we're, 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 left, we're a left-wing party, uh, they're better on workers' rights, I guess. Wow. Be better on social <laughs> issues. You know, it's all debatable, right? But I, I'm not surprised to see that there's been that swing to the right. And, and this is why I think a lot of uh, left voters that aren't voting on colour um, are, are sort of a little bit disillusioned. And I think this is, this is something that going into an election, Labour's got to be really, really sort of conscious of. 
because there might be a lot of Labour guys like me that are voting for somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, and look, I also think that um, a lot of people for a long time have talked about, um, I haven't left Labour, Labour's left me. You know, ex mm -hmm. we, we have to accept that political compass is accurate um, for, for the statement I'm saying. You, you may not accept that, but if that is correct and if that is accurate, you can see that the, and I don't know if it was with you, with George Choi, but, you know, I, I said in the last couple of weeks that when the CEO report came out talking about not liking the Labour government or the CEOs, I was like, yeah, own it. Say, mm -hmm. say National, you can be the party of CEOs, we'll be the party of the factory workers because that's what they used to be. But looking at where their policies sit politically, they're, they're not the party of the factory worker anymore. So then who is? And what about that voting block? And what does that mean for, I guess, left ideology and left politics? If you, if that's where you want to see uh, yeah, yeah. New Zealand, if it's not, to be honest with you, if we go back to it, if it's not, then if you're not a left wing voter, then really it doesn't almost doesn't matter who you vote for, <laughs> um, because other than the Greens from the last election, even the Māori Party were well, they're perfect, aren't they? Look at them, perfect wee things. Everyone's over on this right hand uh, side. Act as libertarian, but check this out. According to their policies, Greens are more libertarian than ACT, according to their policies. <laughs> and that's according to political compass. Because yeah. I think a lot of us think about things like hate speech laws and think about suppression of speech and think about, you know, the pronoun conversation. And that sometimes can feel a bit like do as you're told. And that can sometimes feel like it's coming from the Greens. But when, when investigating their policy, that's where they sit on the compass. So... Should we have a look? We, I, I, I'm a bit bummed you sent me yours, Chewy, because I was going to reveal it together at the same time sort of thing. Oh, okay. Right. Sorry. That's all right. That's all right, because I get to do this. I get to uh, show yours. Uh, show me yours. I'll show you mine. And what I was thinking was we'll put these we'll put these two up on uh, the Facebook page, and you guys should go and do it. I saw Chewy put the link into the um, into the chat, and then tag yours onto the onto the uh, Facebook page. I'll do that from tomorrow, okay? And we'll be good to see where you guys are at. And, you know, if you want to have a bit of fun, do it yourself. It's only six pages. It's probably 50 questions, 40 questions. It's not It's not that arduous. So here's Chewy. Here we go. -da. Quite libertarian and very on the left. The only political party down here, obviously, is green. Where do you think I came out, Chewy? Well, I just want to point out that I'm very close to Mandela, as I've sure. always, always thought uh, that I was. Um, where were somewhere, you you're somewhere, you're, you're, you're kind of in the triangle between Marxism, Chomsky, and Mandela. That's the uh, called the Devil's Triangle. That's where you are. <laughs> um, I'm going to say that. Do you reckon I'm more? Do you reckon I'm more or less uh, libertarian than you? I reckon you're a bit more libertarian, but more to the right. So, kind of in this area, a little bit further over to the the middle. This sort of area? Yeah, maybe somewhere around there. So the other thing, it's a bit like doing some kind of test, right? Is you can, um, it depends on the day. The way the question, the, the one thing about the questions is there's no neutral. So you either have to strongly agree, agree, disagree, or strongly disagree. And some of the questions I was like, you know, I don't know if I really agree or disagree. I'm kind of feeling a bit neutral, but so you have to pick. So I suspect it can change depending on the day and how you're feeling. But I think it gives you a bit of a rough idea. You ready, Chewy? Don't blink because yep. you'll miss it. You'll miss it. <laughs> the devil's uh, triangle very good should we have a look very at it again good. look this is you see if you can tell the difference this is you this is me oh, it's so close you <laughs> me you me so as far as i'm concerned you are an authoritarian piece of shit trying to control me because like i'm more libertarian than you <laughs> yeah well that's fine because i'm going to have a camp for people like you <laughs> we'll, we'll get you good and re-educated but that's interesting, isn't it? Look how close we are. I mean, so may maybe that's one of the reasons that, you know, nobody respects us or respects this show because they only get one perspective <laughs> and nothing else. What would be interesting to know is if, uh, like, where you and I differ on those questions, and we sh I haven't done that, but... Um, and so really, if you look where we are down on that bottom left-hand corner, uh, then as Chewy said, you know, Mandela, Chomsky, Marxism, the Devil's Triangle. We're down on this one, aren't we? <laughs> don't know whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. I remember that I did it once before, and I ended up right on Gandhi. I thought that was kind of cool. And so now I've moved from, so Gandhi is what, uh, like three down and five across. So where's Gandhi? So Gandhi is like three. So Gandhi is like here. So I've moved, I've gone far more libertarian than probably the last time I did this. Don't know why. Um, 
Maybe I'm just sick of being told what to do. Don't tell me what to do. And that's where I am. So look, I mean, when people talk about, oh, look at these lefty, we don't, um, <laughs> I mean, could we be, as Chandler would say, could we be any more obvious where we sit politically? What what show have you ever heard or seen before that goes, oh, no, no, we've got no bias. Look at us. <laughs> Let us show, show right you in the middle. undercarriage. <laughs> right in the middle of a big green square. Uh. <laughs>